Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about this little guy's cloth diapers. I'm gonna show you how I strip them and care for them in this video. One country mommy. Okay, cloth diaper mamas, we've all had this experience here. You're just going along with your day, and then out of the blue, you find this. How dare you? <laughs> Getting in the car, random diaper, found it tucked away in the back seat. Ugh. That diaper had been there over a week. I went through every stage of grief. <laughs> I went through the denial. I was like, mm -mm. my first thought was, that's not even a diaper. No, that's that's a t-shirt or something. That's not a cloth diaper. Then I was like, okay, it's his diaper. Okay, it's his diaper, but it's not dirty. It's a clean diaper. It's just, it fell down there. It just fell and now I'm gonna pick it up and then we're gonna be able to use it. And I picked it up. Urgh, second stage of grief happened. The anger, Hulk mad. I'm always angry. here who did it who can I blame who can I blame you know who always gets to blame the husband aha the husband the husband can always get the blame but then it was in the back seat so I knew it was me and I'm like I'm still mad I'm still angered grief is not understandable so I'm like the husband how dare he let me leave a diaper in the back seat <laughs> I started remembering that you know what it's probably time for me to strip these diapers anyway so here it is, my diapers usually look nice and white and clean like this, smell good, all of that good stuff as you can see, nice and white and clean, but sometimes as you're going on, they start to look like this, they start looking all stained, this is, it's a clean diaper, I wouldn't put it up to my face if it wasn't a clean diaper, but if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of stained there. So the stains, you're trying to, you're kind of seeing how they're picking up. And even if I didn't find that diaper every so often, when I start seeing my diapers looking like this and getting stained, I like to go ahead and strip them. I just finished the load of diapers. I, I took them through two full cycles. They are clean. And so I'm actually going to take clean diapers that I just finished cleaning and I'm going to soak them and strip them. And then I'm going to clean them all over again. I also have some clean ones that were just here already put together in my basket. And so I took those apart as well and they're ready to go into the bathtub. So I'm going to take the wet ones and the dry ones and I'm going to show you how I do it. And here's just a quick shot of that nasty diaper I found there in the back seat. Again, you're gonna wanna do this process with clean diapers. So this diaper had to be taken apart. It's so gross, sorry for showing you all of that. And it had to be clean in order to be added to my bathtub with the rest of the diapers I was stripping. Tub, I filled the bathtub up about maybe halfway. I use about a cup of bleach when I'm in, I dissolve that into the water fully first before putting the diapers in and then I can put all the diapers in. It doesn't matter if you're just doing white or colored diapers. I bleach everything. I'm not playing. <laughs> Especially when you started hearing about stuff like coronavirus, even more things got bleached after that, but I was already bleaching everything. Everything that is in this house is probably faded at least a teeny bit from this original color because I bleach everything and I wash everything on hot piping hot steaming water because <laughs> you can't tell me things are clean with cold water I don't I I'm sure it is I'm pretty sure that, that things get clean but you cannot tell me that clean things are clean in cold water I just don't feel like it so make sure each diaper fully gets soaked I, after after pouring in all the diapers I make sure each diaper is fully immersed in the water fully soaked in there and um, after letting it sit just about I like to soak my diapers for at least six hours in a, in a bleach solution, but about every hour, I will go ahead and stir my diapers and just move them around, agitate them a little bit, just to make sure every piece is really getting into the bleach. And I like to use a hanger because you don't want to keep sticking your hands in the bleach too much. I like to put the, I use the, I stir it maybe about every hour, definitely every hour. Sometimes I forget and maybe we'll do it twice an hour, but just about every or hour or so, I like to give it a good stir make sure because you know the diapers will start bunching together they'll start gathering certain areas and you don't want, want only certain surfaces of the diaper to really be immersed in the bleach and get the whole action you want every inch to get in there and so 
I try to rotate it, try to make sure I bring the one from the bottom to the top and stir it really good. And again, like I said, I do this for about six hours, let it soak, and then after that, I drain the water from my tub. By hand, I'm gonna wring out each diaper. I put it back into <laughs> my wet bag that's inside of my garbage pan to transport it to the washing machine. And then from there, I will put it into my wash. And so, when it's time for the wash now, I like to use the RLR solution. I like to, I order mine from Amazon. They come in these little packets. And I just go ahead and I run my loads and I put a packet in. The RLR solution is supposed to be something that you soak your clothes in and then wash. And so, as you can see here, I have up to two hours. Two hours is the maximum amount of time that I can do a soak. So I like to put the solution in, put it on soak, and then let it go. From there, I still go ahead and run my, so I let the RLR solution run completely through, and I like to do a full two hours as well, again, wash on top of that. I dry my diapers in the regular hot dryer on high heat as well. Again, I don't think that things can die unless there is hot temperature heat, hot heat. <laughs> we have to cook. Everything must be cooked. So it is a full day process. Usually. What I will do is I will put some type of disposable diaper on the baby. It's summertime and we had some swim diapers and he's just gonna be in those until I can get his full load completely done, fresh, new and clean. And we can go back to our wonderful, beautiful cloth diapers that we love because we're a crunchy family. We love it. <laughs> I don't know if we're a crunchy family, but I'm definitely a crunchy mom. And there you have it. That's my routine for when I like to strip my diapers and get them nice and clean for the boy. So thanks for joining me, bye.